Hey everybody, Craig Cottle, Director of Nature Line School. Got another subscription box. I love getting these, always checking this stuff out. So this is from Survival Box. Let me show you what's in here. So inside the box, we got all kinds of cool stuff. First off, we got emergency drinking water. One, two, three, four, five bags of it. Stickers, I love stickers. Gonna put one of these on my cooler. You got a fire blanket. Now I'm gonna go and call ignorance on these because I've never utilized one, but I'm gonna tell you what they say it does. And I'll be testing this out for sure. But this is good to put fires out because it is made of fiberglass and it'll basically smother a fire from oxygen. Uh, don't utilize this as, hey, I'm gonna try to save myself from a fire and put it around me because it's just not gonna accomplish that for you. But it could be used in a kitchen. It could be utilized in a car if you've got an engine fire or something of that nature that you could utilize and throw it on there. You've got ReadyWise food. You've got, in this particular box, you got chicken. What is that? Chicken flavored noodle soup, brown sugar and maple. Multigrain, that's some good stuff. You have a really nice, um, high quality rope. I was really surprised at the quality of this rope that came in here. Uh, anytime you're getting what you might utilize for climbing or that nature, I'm not saying you should utilize this for this. These tags will tell you the rating for the rope and that is required for anything you might utilize for climbing. Next, it comes with a locking carabiner which is easy to use. And last but not least, I looked at this a couple times, thought, what in the heck is this? But this is a protective mask. Well, I'm gonna open it up and see if I can get it on and see what it does for me. So the intention of the mask, as best I can see it. And the intention is in case you have some sort of nuclear disaster. And again, I'm gonna have to call ignorance on my own part on the use of this but you put this over your head. Now, the beauty of this is that it does have a really tight fitting mask that goes over your face, but I don't know because I'm just not educated enough on how to handle that sort of thing for disaster preparedness. So look in the details and look at the links and make your own judgment call on this sort of thing if this interests you. All right, so this has been Survival Box. Check it out. They come with different themes. Again, this one was based upon um, something such as a nuclear disaster. And again, there's a lot that goes into a nuclear disaster and fallout. It's a survivable event if, um, if you make it through the initial blast. So with that said, this would be a good start and at least get you thinking on how to protect yourself and your family and get started in disaster readiness with Survival Box. Come on, join in. Let's learn together.